like millions of Americans undergo knee replacement surgery every year, but success can often hinge on the fit. Now, as ABC 7 News anchor Cheryl Jennings discovered, a new device being used here in the Bay Area is making knee replacement surgery more precise. Michael Evans is a former surfer who would love to get back in the water. But now facing his second knee replacement, he says just moving without pain would be a victory. I can't straighten it. I can barely bend it. I need a crutch to get out of bed in the morning. While Michael has already had replacement surgery on his right knee, this procedure on the left is going to take advantage of a new technology. The sensor is contained entirely within the plastic. Dr. Robert Maley says the device, known as VeriSense, is part of a system that helps ensure a better fit for knee replacements. There's a subset of population, about 15%, that don't do well. That's typically because the knees feel either too tight too loose or unstable. In an operating room at California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco, Dr. Mealy begins surgery that will ultimately place synthetic caps on the upper and lower surfaces of Michael's knee joint. It's got our numbers. To gauge the best fit, Dr. Mealy inserts the VeriSense device first. It's roughly the same shape as the knee replacement, but it's embedded with a microchip sensor that beams data to a monitor next so, to the operating table. So that's 10, 45, 90. So what we're seeing there is a little bit of off balance. As Dr. Mealy moves Michael's knee, the sensor measures the pressure at different points on the surface of the joint. If it's off balance, the surgeon can remove bone or tissue to smooth out the movement. If it's too loose or too tight, he can use thicker or thinner replacement caps. Finally, with Michael's knee in balance, Dr. Maley fits the permanent replacement caps that will be the contact point of his new knee. His kneecap tracks well, his knee balanced well. So our goal is to get him up later today and actually stand and take a few steps. And hopefully the beginning of new pain-free life. What I want to do first is hit a golf ball, but my home run will be to get on a surfboard again. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News.